presentation of the NBA. And here were the Memphis Grizzlies, focused on the task at hand as they came into the arena earlier. Ah, what a view from the air of downtown Los Angeles. Here on the ground, our site of tonight's broadcast. Hi, everybody. Time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. And giving us the rundown from the sidelines, reporter Allie LaForce. Allie, take it away. Thanks, B.A. I mean, Anthony Davis is shining with the Lakers. LeBron said, quote, there's a reason we wanted him here. He's a complete player. All he ever wanted was a chance. And now that he has it, we haven't seen the best of A.D. yet. He is just scratching the surface. Makes you excited, B.A. They make one heck of a tag team. Thanks, Allie. Let's take a look at the Western Conference standings now that the new year is upon us. Taking a look at Los Angeles. They've been outstanding halfway through this season, looking cohesive and playing for one another. And, of course, Memphis, they're just four spots down from them. When I look at the Lakers, they've been a real Cinderella story for sure. It's clear they believe in themselves. That kind of camaraderie is so valuable to a team's success. And the credit belongs to them for what they did and didn't do during the offseason. I mean, they had a vision, they set it out, and they've stayed true to it. The starters for the Memphis Grizzlies. Kyle Anderson is out there with Dylan Brooks. Then it's Desmond Bain. Then it's Jackson. And it's Morant in at the point. And for the Lakers, the big three for this team all out there. Westbrook the point. LeBron and AD sliding in at the forward spots. Malik Monk is out there with Dwight Howard. And Grant, these teams both stacked in the front court. Stacked indeed, B.A. The versatility demanded in today's game, revolutionizing those positions. Now, it's not enough to just control the paint. You've got to do more. And the Grizzlies with possession here. Outside Morant. Pass to Brooks. There's the three. And it's Desmond Bain with the three. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Here's Westbrook. Outside Monk. Now James. And off target. He starts the game 0 for 1. To the inside. Stolen by Davis. And we're about a minute into the first. Good work defensively by Brooks. Here's Moran. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Going second overall in 2019, John Morant looks like a franchise cornerstone, carrying Memphis to a play-in game as a rookie. down the first one and Morant drops them both first quarter just over a minute play James passes to Davis. Back to James. Westbrook outside. Five on the clock. Here's Davis. 
Out to James. Davis down low. Brooks defending. And again, the Lakers no good. 0 for 4 to start this game. Some of it's execution, and some of it's just bad luck. Oh, oh man, I did wow. not see that coming. With authority. Did he just do that? Oh, wow. Oh, man. I mean, just an agile move by Morant down low. Working around the contact and getting it to go. And how about our AT&T 5G slam cam? Couldn't have captured that play any better. Pass to Howard. Will it go? The shot's good on the assist by James. Took a little time, but they get one to go. Maybe they're warmed up now. Eight-time All-Star. Howard made the NBA All-First Team five straight years. One of the greatest centers this game has ever seen when you look at his record. Morant with it. His last outing, he had 20. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Dwight Howard picks one up. And now entering his late 30s, Howard has embraced a new role. You know what? He's done a nice job, B.A., of adjusting to what his body allows him to do now. Mentally, he's more comfortable and seems to be at peace. And he doesn't have to be the focal point anymore. He's fine being a spoke in the wheel. First free throw is good. So he makes both from the line. Here's Westbrook. 15 in his last outing. James outside. And there's the lob. And Davis slams it home. Boy, there's not a better target in all of the NBA than Davis for the alley-oop. Now Morant. He's got six. Here's Anderson. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Talk about a great start. Three of three from the field to get the game going. They're cooking with gas, folks. About three minutes gone in the first quarter. Westbrook against Moran. And here's Westbrook. He can't hit that time. Oh, and Jackson with the defensive effort. Here's Brooks. James with the block. Phenomenal work on defense. James using his athleticism to make a statement with that block. Back to Davis. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Bain into the lane. Rejected by Westbrook. Pass to Monk. Fires the three. Sends it home from three-point land. You've got to get out on Monk now. He shoots a high percentage from outside the arc in the form. Perfect. Morant, the pass to Jackson. Monk against Morant. Back to Bain. Jackson on the wing. Shot clock at five. No good off the back of the rim. The Lakers trail. Westbrook outside. The 11-footer. The rebound by Jackson. That's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. Moran against Westbrook. Here's Anderson. He drains it from the right block. Anderson's got his second bucket of the night. And Morant is a natural leader. Someone who wants to get his guys involved when they're open. The Lakers shooting an unremarkable 30% in the first. Davis against Anderson. Davis, the pass to James. Back to Davis. Shoots over Anderson. It's rebounded by Memphis. Jackson's got four rebounds now. You know, they're losing in large part because he's, he's not playing well. It's really 
As simple as that. Bain. And it's blocked. What a play as he just snatches the shot out of midair. It hasn't been his best quarter. I mean, he's trying to shoot himself out of the slump. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. <laughs> what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Bain's gone just one for four so far. Westbrook against Moran. Now, here is James. Tight defense on him. Here's Davis. Oh, and Jackson with the block. The attention to detail on defense. Jackson reads shooters well and knows when to go for blocks. Now the Lakers moving it up. He pulls it. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. You want to run your offense through him. A reliable scoring option. Moran into the lane. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Westbrook. Anthony's checked in for Howard. The Grizzlies also with a sub. Adams checked in for Anderson. Here's Bain. He had nine points in his last time out. Ooh, stolen by Westbrook. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Here's Monk. Oh, the swap by Adams. And that'll be Los Angeles ball as it goes out of bounds. Lakers able to keep the possession. Tillman's checked in for Memphis. Melton comes in for Bain. Here's Westbrook. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Well, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jumper. Jackson finds Melton. Back to Jackson. And he banks in the layup. Finishing through contact. Jackson showing why a 6'11 guy with real shooting ability is so dangerous. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Pass to Davis. Out to James. That's in there. Davis with the assist. James has got his second basket. Quick on the shot. Love watching LeBron go right up with that jumper. Memphis calls timeout. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. Horton Tucker, he's checked in for the Lakers. Nunn comes in for Monk. And Memphis also making a switch. Williams is checked in. Here's Anthony. He can't get that one to fall. Some solid defense from Williams. It's going to be on LeBron James. That's his first foul of the game. Open shot by Melton. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. Big ups to this coaching staff. Great play design there. Outside none. Pass to James. Here's Horton Tucker. Back to Anthony. This one for three. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Defensively, got to close out a little faster. That's a look he'll make with regularity. Moran against none. Pass to Adams. To the paint. Here's Tillman. Rebounded by the Lakers. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. Here's none. Count it. One for one to start the game. Oh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? 
from deep. Morant. And no good. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Westbrook finds none. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. Nunn's got five points. Yep, Westbrook seems to have a sixth sense for those kinds of openings. He knows exactly where the gap is and finds his teammate perfect. Down low. Adams, the pass to Morant. Back to Adams. Six on the shot clock. Up and in on the layup. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Los Angeles has gone three of three from outside and looking sharp here in the first. None. The pass to James. Melton against Westbrook. Adams grabs the miss. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this court. Man. Melton with the ball. Picked up by James. Melton against James. Pass to Melton. Fires the three. And the shot's off. One for two in this one. You know, when he has the ball outside like that, that's exactly the kind of D they need to play on. And Russell Westbrook on the move once again. This time to the Lakers. Now, what's interesting, I mean, he played so long for the OKC Thunder... And now on his fourth team in the past four years. But still, you can't deny the impact when he's on the floor. Ariza's checked in for the Lakers. Ellington comes in for Russell Westbrook. Boy, that is awesome defense, guys, against a capable finisher. Well done. I'm sure the coaches love that. That one falls. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see, ball movement. The Lakers with the ball. Trailing by two. Pass to Ellington. Here's Ariza. Outside none. Oh, it's stolen by Adams. Back to Jones. From deep three-point range. Doesn't go, and he's 0 for 1 from the floor. The Lakers shooting just 36% here in the first quarter. Pass to none. Back to Anthony. None. The pass to Anthony. To the middle. Here's Ariza. The kick out to none. Here's Ellington. From deep, Adams grabs the miss. If you're looking for ways to help your team, that's last on the list. <laughs> hey, that's crazy there. I mean, insanity. At least wait until you get across half court. My goodness. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. The Lakers trail. 56 seconds left in the first quarter here. Pass to Ellington. Shot to end the cold streak. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Well, that was clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. And he drops the first. And he makes both free throws. There's 48 seconds left in the opening quarter. Inside. Here's Melton. Back to Jones. Pass to Williams. 
Down to five on the shot clock. On the wing, Jones. Over none. Up again. It's good on the putback. And the Grizzlies lead by two. Real smooth, guys. Great job with the tip in. Those are the kind of plays on the offensive glass that can tell you a lot about a player. Yes, they can. They can't allow him to beat them to too many more of those. Now here's none. Pass to Anthony. Over Adams. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. Well, a good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Grizzlies out in front, up by two. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. And you think about LeBron James, not just one of the all-time greats. He's really a coach on the floor. I have the freedom to call sets, you know, whatever I feel best suit our team. I'm a smart, cerebral basketball player. Um, my basketball IQ is very high, and I take that very seriously. So I know what best suits our team, and our coaching staff does as well. He really does process the game at such a high level, Grant. Yeah, an all-time level. And he'll let you know about it. I mean, no false modesty at all. Says, I got this. And it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And looking at what we've seen from the Grizzlies, what do you think, guys? It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. Yeah, I agree. I mean, look at the energy, the effort defensively. They put it all out there in that opening quarter. On the court for Memphis, we've got DeAnthony Melton. Xavier Tillman is out there with Steven Adams. Then there's Tyus Jones, and it's Williams in at the small forward position. And Grant, as you watch the league since you retired, what do you think is the biggest change? Well, you started to see the three-point boom change towards the end of my career. And of course, also, how centers are used is probably the biggest change of them all. The Lakers making a switch here. Howard's checked in. What's up? And the free throw is good. Now leading by one. Memphis shooting just under 40% from the field. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. All right, B.A., Russell Westbrook last season said titles won't define him. He said, quote, I grew up in the streets. I'm a champion. I don't have to be an NBA champion. My legacy isn't based on what I do on this court. It's what I do off the floor. How many people I'm able to impact and inspire. Oh, different perspective, Allie. Good stuff. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Memphis. Guys, their penetration has been outstanding. I mean, it's actually been great. They're really finding those holes in the defense. Another positive has been their play in the paint offensively. Los Angeles has gone three or four from distance in this game to the middle. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Outside Jones. Pass to Adams. Down low. Here's Brooks. Oh, and that one, no question. Powered it down. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Anthony in the post. Anderson's there. Shot clock at six. Back to Anthony. Let's it go from deep. The ball's knocked loose. Memphis leading. Outside Jones. Closed the net on two minutes played here in the second. Brooks finds Adams. 
Outside for Brooks. Here's the three. And he knocks it down. He's three of five now from the floor. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. For Los Angeles, they've gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. After the outside. Now here's Nunn. Guarded closely. Over to the wing. To end the run. The shot, no good. Ooh, some solid defense from Adams. And that one's good for Brooks. And now it's a nine-point Memphis lead. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. The Lakers call timeout. They traveled to Memphis last time they faced the Grizzlies. Came away with a win. <laughs> they really scrapped out a win last time. Foul trouble on the other side helped them immensely. You know, whether it was their smart play or a few whistles that perhaps could have gone either way, when, when games are tight, every decision becomes more magnified. Davis, he's checked in for the Lakers. Monk comes in for Ellington. Jaron Jackson, he's checked in for Memphis. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Like a lot of young players, B.A., it took Monk some time to get going, but he's found his stride in the NBA now. You know, Clark, with Malik Monk, you can see the improvement he's had. Yeah, it's about efficiency. We knew he could put the ball in the basket, but now his shot selection has improved, and I think he's gotten better as a ball handler, too. Shooting two. And he makes the first. The energy that Monk brings, I love it. I mean, when he's out on the floor, he's giving you everything he has. And that's good as he hits both shots. And here the second quarter of action, just a hair under two and a half minutes played. Jones with the ball. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Here's Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. And adding to this lead right now. Riding a wave of momentum. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. The Lakers trail. None. The pass to Davis. And now about three minutes gone in the second quarter here to Ariza Davis with it just four to shoot and he got the whistle on the way up so he'll be headed to the line for a pair Jaron Jackson picks one up there are very few that can handle and battle with Davis inside I mean he's got really tremendous strength and agility and a nice touch Shooting two. First one falls for him. And there's a 10-second limit on free throw routines. But we see some players ask for time before they get the ball. Grant, do you think that should count as part of their time? Uh, you know, B.A., I don't see why not. I mean, it's about keeping the game moving. So asking the ref to hold the ball longer, uh, not exactly compatible. B.A. and Anthony Davis, you got a big man who can give you 28 a game and contend for defensive player of the year. Enough said. Brooks outside. Pass to Anderson. To the inside. Jackson. Goes back up. And he lays it up and in. Jackson's got six. I'll tell you what, they've been aggressive and they've been physical. Well, they're working the glass, really battling in that area of the game. And let's help them stake this lead. Davis, the pass to none. Puts up the eight-footer. The Grizzlies pull it in. 
Jackson's got six rebounds in the game. And Davis standing 6'10 with a 7'6 wingspan. His sphere of influence, let's call it, is gigantic. B.A., I love that phrase, sphere of influence. And that's exactly what A.D. had. Multiple first-time all-defense selections, and rightfully so. This guy gets it done at both ends. Yeah, they've been pretty careless so far, racking up a number of fouls in very little time. LeBron, he's checked in for the Lakers. Russell Westbrook comes in for none. Here's Davis. Misses that shot. Struggling now, shooting one for eight. Westbrook against Brooks. Here he goes. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. First one at the line is good. So he gets them both. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been at, been at, the, at the center of it. But it's been good on a number of levels. Los Angeles has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. The open shot by James. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. James has got his third basket on the night right there. And here are the Grizzlies. They're on an 18-6 run. Outside Jones. Pass to Bain. And here's Anderson from downtown. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Davis has got four rebounds now. And James throws it down. Tell you what, just add that one to the highlight reel. James is truly one of the greatest slam dunkers of all time. Brooks outside. Pass to Jackson. Excellent D there from Davis. That puts them over the foul limit with plenty of time left. They have to be careful now. Well, Anthony Davis helped rescuing the Lakers from some lean years. In the six seasons prior to his arrival, they'd missed the playoffs more times than in the previous 65 years of the franchise. And a year after they got him, they're hoisting the Larry O'Brien Trophy. And Take now with his Take new contract, he should it's help off. them compete for a long time to come. That free throw, good from Davis. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. And maybe cause some foul trouble along the way as well. And we know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Morant's checked in, and so he hits both. You know, with that combination of strength and length, Davis can easily overwhelm defenders and get himself to the foul line. Timeout call, Memphis. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Memphis has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. Pass to Bain. Jackson against James. Outside, Anderson. Back to Jackson. Clock at six. Over James. The Lakers with a rebound. 
When this one's in the books, they'll be off to Sacramento, taking on the Kings. That'll be the first leg of just a two-game trip for them. The Lakers with another miss. For Memphis, they've gotten 7 of 12 shots to go here in the second. Moran into the lane. And then Moran with the dunk. The quick feet of Moran. He's so dangerous when he's cutting to the rim. Now James. Give him eight. Westbrook outside. Pass to Ariza. Now here's Davis. The three is up. The Lakers with another miss. Yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he shot so poorly. Stolen by Davis. Here's Monk. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Yeah, when you look at Monk's shot shots. mechanics, they're wow. really solid. Even with the foul, he completed his follow-through in his shooting motion. Impressive. Shooting two. First one falls. Horton Tucker, he's checked in for the Lakers. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Both good from the line that time. The Grizzlies have gotten 8 of 13 shots to fall in the second quarter. Outside Morant. Pass to Tillman. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Tillman's got his first two points of the night. Getting better at reading defenses. You see Morant's willingness to give up the ball to his teammates. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Knocked loose. Stolen by Melton. to the paint. Here's Williams. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Free throw drops for Williams. And some have said the pandemic increased the league's interest in a potential expansion. Grant, is that something you'd like to see? You know, I wouldn't mind that at all. I mean, it just speaks to the league continuing to be popular and continuing to grow throughout the world. So we all know there'd be a hefty expansion fee, but there's some great markets out there that love the game of basketball and would really embrace a team. You know, one city that comes to mind, Seattle. So maybe it'll happen. I'm hoping it does. Moran against Westbrook. Oh, Moran with the block. And he gets it back. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And the Grizzlies with possession here. Memphis has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. Pass to Melton. To the wing, right side. It's stolen by James. That's a foul he wanted to avoid, and he definitely doesn't want to pick up his third before the half. The first free throw is good. And the longevity of LeBron's greatness is unprecedented. The oldest starter in the league last season and still producing at an MVP level. Both free throws good from James. And what's incredible for LeBron is not just how good he is at his age, but the mileage on his body, Grant. So true, B.A. I mean, just three players in NBA history have exceeded 60,000 minutes played, including the playoffs. That's Kareem, Carl Malone, and the one and only LeBron James. 
The Lakers trail. Outside Monk takes the three. The shot's good on the assist by James. James has got three assists in the game. You've got to be up on Monk all the time. I mean, even when the pass has not gotten to him yet, you need to be there before it arrives because he's ready to let it go when he catches it. You know, he started slow, but now in the second quarter, he's finding his groove. Los Angeles has gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. James up top, defended by Jackson. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. They get it back. Goes back up. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. And he's going for the lob. And finished off by Davis. Sharing the basketball is a part of the game that Monk needs to continue to add to to complement his shooting. And it's Moran off the drive. Oh, there's Moran with the slam. What a finish. I mean, he just took over himself. What a show of power right there from the point guard. Man, sweet. And you know, guys, when your point guard is making explosive plays at the rim, I really do think it sets the tone for the rest of the team. And the Lakers call time here. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. <laughs> That'll drive your coach nuts. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Anthony's checked in for the Lakers. Ellington comes in for Monk. The Grizzlies also with a sub. Adams checked in for Tillman. Memphis leading. Melton left side. Horton Tucker grabs the miss. Los Angeles has gone just one of four from downtown so far in the second. And the basket by Ellington. Boy, talk about an advanced playmaker. Westbrook can make passes that other players just can't. Well, the Grizzlies shooting about 58% so far in the second. Jackson against James. Poke loose. Jackson, the pass to Moran. And here's Melton. No good on the three. And they've been able to maintain this lead despite his inconsistency from the field. James, outside. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got four assists now tonight. Yeah, you watch LeBron play, and it's obvious he gets more joy out of passing to his teammates and setting them up and scoring himself. But tonight, he's feeling it. Jackson outside. Pass to Adams. Here's Morant. He's guarded by Anthony. Five to shoot. Now the Lakers moving it up. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Hits the trifecta. Westbrook's gotten himself on the board with a three there. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. The drive by Morant. Good. The dry spell continues. Pass to Westbrook. The three is up. And another three for the Lakers. Adjustment time for these guys. The defense has to make some adjustment. And here's Melton. Looking at his stats. He's putting up about seven and a half per game. Now here's Williams. Defense is right there. Just five to shoot. Melton passes to Moran. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Pass to James. And he buries that one. Back rim and in. And now a five-point Los Angeles lead. Guys, this has been an incredible performance this quarter. I mean, he's getting the ball where he likes it and wants it and just going to work. For the finish. And then Westbrook slams it in. Boy, that time, Russell Westbrook going for the spectacular with a little extra pizzazz. Here's Morant. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That one on Anthony. Two, two. 
And he makes the first. Second free throw, no good. And James puts up a deep three. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks, I'm here with Frank Vogel and Coach. The offense seemed to get on track in the second quarter. What changed for you? We just settled down offensively. You know, it seemed like we had some nerves early on in the game. We were attacking the paint, trying to play extra pass basketball, but we were a little hesitant. I thought we just settled down in this quarter. Hopefully more aggressive in the second half. Thanks. All right, good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. LeBron James putting in some incredible work. He ended up with 15 points, 4 rebounds, and 2 blocks. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Well, the three-point shooting was the key thus far. When you're knocking down those shots from the perimeter, it really spreads the floor. You demand respect from the defense. We'll see if they can keep it flowing in the second half. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Grizzlies. It's the work they've done in the paint that's impressed me the most. A lot of their points have come from the inside. They need to keep that production in the post coming in the second half. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. You know, LeBron James has been exceptional here, guys. Yeah, but his blocks tell only part of the story. His presence alone is making an impact on defense. Yeah, you know, he's been up in the air so often, he's been absolutely a pest on the defensive end. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. The big three for this team all out there. Westbrook the point. LeBron and AD sliding in at the forward spots. Dwight Howard out there with Malik Monk. That's the Laker five. That jumper is pure. Jackson with great touch for a big man. Set him up. Let him knock him down. Here's James. to Howard here's Monk and that one goes out of bounds last touch by Anderson the Lakers with the ball four point game and it's going to be a 24-second violation. They turn it over. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. Down low. Here's Jackson. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. One of the jewels at the top of that 2018 draft. Jackson has made a huge impact at both ends. And he's still reaching his full potential. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good.
He's perfect from the line this time. Los Angeles has gotten 7 of 12 three-point attempts to fall. Second half, getting started. About a minute play. James up top. Anderson covers. Six to shoot. Stolen by Anderson. Pass to Moran. Here's Bain. Monk covers. Bain, no good. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Davis. That one, no good. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. And he's one of those stat sheet stuffers. Kyle Anderson at 6'9". Gives you rebounding, playmaking, grant a little bit of everything. I mean, the combination of size with skill is what makes him special. And his wingspan helps him impact the game in so many ways. And it's good for two. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Outside Morant. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It goes on Russell Westbrook. What determination from Morant in the paint. Getting his shot off despite being fouled. First one falls. And Morant drops them both. Now here's Westbrook. Give him eight points now. James with the ball. And he drives in. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Howard shots good. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Westbrook against Moran. Pass to Bain. Now Anderson. Outside Morant, four on the clock. And another miss by Memphis. This isn't how they wanted to start the second half. Only one of four. Monk into the lane. And he makes it. And now it's a six-point Laker lead. Monk a nice finisher around the basket now, using his quickness to get past defenders on the drive. Morant against Westbrook. Now here's Moran. Not a lot of room. On the wing, Bain. Three-pointer. LeBron with the rebound. Trying to get it going. Only one for five to start the second half. Oh, got that one up quick. Monk's got 15. Tell you what, guys. The aggressiveness on defense just hasn't been there this half. Not like it was in the first. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Well, the players on two-way contracts getting expanded opportunities last season after the league eliminated the 50-game cap and permitted them to take part in the playoffs. The pandemic played a role. But, guys, teams are continuing to find contributors among these scrappy young players. Well, it's all about opportunity, Ali. Thanks. First free throw is good. They're doing some good work at the line this half. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. Ariza's checked in for James. And Memphis also making a switch. Jones has checked in. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the stripe. He's going to cash in more than not. Here's Davis. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. He's got 12. 
Love the energy here in the third. Trying to take control now of this contest. And I really think this is the time to do it because this is a real important juncture in the ball game right here. Here's Jackson. Lays it up and in despite excellent defense. I love the strength shown by Jackson there. Refusing to let the defense have the last word. Westbrook, the pass to Howard. Right side, Davis. That shot, no good. Nice D from Anderson. Jones drives in. And Davis with the block. Monk for three. And the Lakers hit again from deep. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for Los Angeles. You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shots. I'll tell you something else. The points they've scored on the fast break tonight have been a major factor. Drives to the hoop. And give him another one. He's 6 of 8 and looking solid. Now, when this guy catches fire, Monk puts the defense in a real bind. Excels at getting to his spots and is a really versatile score. Outside, Anderson. Back to Jones. Yeah, look at me. The three from Bain. Knocks down the long J. Bain's got five points now in the quarter. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. Here's Davis. Ooh, excellent D there from Jackson. For Memphis, they've gone cold here in this third quarter. Just three of nine. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Yep, they'll be trying to draw that next foul quickly so they can start getting those easy chances at the strike. Some changes now for the Lakers. Anthony's checked in for Howard, and it's Horton Tucker in for Ariza. Adams checked in for Memphis. Tillman comes in for Anderson. Pass to Jones. Back to Bain. Three-pointer. Connects from downtown. Bain's got 13. And that's on the defense, giving him a decent look. That's his shot. Brooks against Westbrook. Here's Horton Tucker. Anthony with it. On the wing, Davis. And he wills that one in. Sinking it right through the back of the iron. 14 points for him. You know, unlike a lot of bigs, Davis doesn't have to operate inside. He's totally confident in his ability to do damage from the perimeter. Brooks from outside. Anthony grabs the board. Anthony's got four rebounds in the game. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. And guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamour stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. Timeout call. Memphis. Malik Monk really making a difference here. With the perimeter D struggling to stay connected to him, they're getting bombarded. The Lakers making a switch here. Nunn's checked in. Memphis has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. Outside Jones. Here's Bain. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. And that's a low percentage shot, and I'm sure he knows it. Well, you can't be forcing a shot like that. you got to keep the ball moving. Get something better. With the second effort, and Westbrook lays it in. And now a 12-point Laker lead. And their offense has been much tighter since halftime. The guys are starting to work together, moving the ball around, getting good shots. Hey, I don't know if it was changing baskets or what, guys, but they clearly look a lot better offensively. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Williams comes in for Brooks. And it's Melton in for Bain. I got him, I got him. Now Davis. He's got 16. From behind the arc. It's rebounded by Memphis. Adams has got a rebound number five here tonight. And Melton, here we go. Rebound collected by Anthony Davis. Have to love his hustle tonight. Yeah, B.A., just one more rebound, and he'll have a double-double. Going inside. Horton Tucker can't hit. 
And Memphis shooting a low 29% since halftime. Melton misses. He just can't find a consistent way to score. And this team could certainly use it. Westbrook with the miss. Well, the Grizzlies shooting only 40% from the floor in this game. Jones misses. It's just so hard to score in this league, especially when you're out of rhythm. You've got to feel for him tonight. None, no good. And here's Memphis. Down by 12. And Melton, here we go. Another miss. Boy, they're in a funk right now. And there's a whistle. That goes on to Anthony Melton. That's his first foul of the game. James is checked in for Horton Tucker. And for the Lakers, they're shooting the ball at around 42% for the game. You really get it all with Russell Westbrook. His versatility as a player is truly exceptional. That's what allows him to crank out triple doubles one after another. Carmelo Anthony showing you his passing skill there. From deep three-point range, Melton misses. Los Angeles has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Over Williams, and Anthony gets it to go on the assist by Davis. Anthony's got his second basket of the night. Timeout called, the Grizzlies. And while Westbrook has led the league in triple doubles many seasons, I think that stat is also a testament to his hustle. Yeah, when it comes to pure energy, Westbrook is maybe unmatched. He's the ultimate hard worker. Every minute he's on the floor, he's doing his best to make an impact on the game. Jones misses. <laughs> you got to credit the defense this period. They've been all over him. And we're going to have a jump ball. The Lakers with the ball. They're enjoying a sizable lead. And what I like, B.A., they haven't stopped pressing the issue. None. The pass to Davis. Westbrook outside. Offensive board. Out to Anthony. Pass to none. Melton against James. Now here's Davis. Tries yet again. Oh, three chances on that possession, but they just can't find a way to score. And here's Melton. Outside, Williams. Here's Jones. And another miss by Memphis. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Brooks, he's checked in for Williams. And it's Ja Morant in for Melton. Outside none. Pass to Davis. And here's James. Back to Anthony. Let's it go from 14. Adams grabs the miss. Adams has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. And it's Moran off the drive. Count that bucket. Moran's got 17 points. Yeah, an electric player. Moran just bouncing off the contact and finishing on the drive. Here are the Lakers with the ball. They've outscored them 10 to 2 during this run. James against Brooks. Right wing for three, Westbrook. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. He had a couple in the first, but so far he's been unable to get uncorked here. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. Well, Grant, the best way to steady a team, have an anchor like Tyus Jones as the backup point. I mean, just an outstanding decision maker. His steady play complements their athletes with that second unit. And he makes the first, but misses the second. So hard, actually impossible to cut into the lead when you have a guy struggling this badly. Here's James. That went off the back iron and out. And the Grizzlies shooting just 38%. Their offense not where they want to be. And it's Moran off the drive. Good. Yeah, teams try to get physical with Moran, but he shows exceptional body control off the contact. Anderson's checked in for Jones. 
The free throw drops for Moran. 50 seconds left in the third quarter. James passes to Anthony. Back to James. Outside Davis. Hey, here's none for three. Grizzlies with the rebound. Adams has got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass heating. Left side, Moran. Brooks outside. Launches a three. Good. And the setup by Moran. Morant's got his fourth assist with that last one. Among the best passers in the league, Morant finds open teammates. Here's James. He's got 15. One second left. And the jumper falls for him. James has got 17. You know, LeBron's a very efficient shooter from mid-range, in my opinion. I like when he takes advantage of that area of the floor. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Looking to run whenever they can. That's part of why they lead. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Served him up a tasty room service dime right there, boy. With three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store. On the court for the Grizzlies. Jackson Jr. and Adams together inside. John Moran is out there with Kyle Anderson. And it's Brooks in at the three, the small forward. To me, this is Howard's specialty. This is his bread and butter thing here. We all know this guy loves to throw it down whenever he can. And he's pretty good at it. Outside, Anderson. Pass to Moran. Puts up a three. And the foul on Steven Adams. That's his third foul so far. Monk, he's checked in for the Lakers. Los Angeles shooting about 41%. James, outside. Just five on the clock. None. The pass to Monk. From deep. And they recover it. Howard finds Monk. Outside none. Back to Monk. Second chance shot. Again with the block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. Yeah, you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. The Lakers with another miss. There wasn't much defensive resistance there, guys, but somehow he blew it anyway. Missed opportunity. And it's Moran off the drive. Plays with so much confidence. When Moran gets in the zone, he stays aggressive. Here's none. Pass to James. Over Brooks. Adams grabs the miss. Adams is Memphis trailing here. 
Jackson, the pass to Anderson. That one is off. Ooh, solid defense from Anthony. For Los Angeles, they've gotten only one of five to fall here in the fourth. Another shot. Monk using his post moves to get the two points. Monk's got 12 points here in the second half. Just make sure you keep getting him touches. I mean, you love what he's doing at the offensive end. Don't go away from him. Moran against none. Brooks outside. Outside, Anderson. Down to five on the shot clock. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Now, here is James. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. The turnaround, Jay. And he can't bank that one in. I've been in this position. Your team is up. You want to drive in the dagger. He may be a little overeager. The Lakers in the lead. Pass to Monk. Now, here is James. Hounded by Moran. Hey, here's none for three. They get it again. Here's Howard. Boy, they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but still coming up empty. Here's Brooks. Good D by none. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. And Anthony slams it in. Carmelo Anthony imposing his will inside. Doesn't take any time. Rising up for the dunk. None against Moran. Pass to Adams. Brooks from outside. No good that time. And Los Angeles the other way now. They are just owning the boards right now. And that's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really dominated the glass. None finds Howard. The layup misses. Memphis has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Anderson passes to Jackson. Oh, he got him with a pump fake, but he couldn't finish. Monk against Anderson. Pass to James. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. They recover it. Howard, the pass to Monk. Second chance effort. Anderson pulls it down. You know, the fact is, he's not a lock from there, but he was open enough to where he should have hit that shot. Moran, outside for Brooks. It's stolen by James. Inside, it's James on the wing. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Jackson. The drive by Brooks. Ooh, solid defense from Anthony. He's got a nice feel for that crossover, but you still have to finish. He buries it from three. One triple for him in the first half. Now he's hit another. The Grizzlies have gotten just three of nine shots to go in. Struggling this fourth quarter. Pass to Adams. Jackson outside. Now Adams. Guarded by Howard. And it's the Lakers on the break. Monk for three. It's rebounded by Memphis. Morant with it to stop the drought. Oh, there's Morant with the slam. Ooh, bouncy. That should give him a nice lift. Good timing. They needed that one. And you know, that's exactly what happens when you don't settle. That's the result. Tremendous effort and a big time finish there. The Lakers call timeout. He recognized his players were fatigued and needed time to catch their breath. And now let's present our New Balance player of the game, Anthony Davis. Seems like you just can't hold this guy down. He's always ready and prepared to snatch those boards. And his reliability on the glass makes him an important piece to this squad. And you know, this home arena really appreciates this guy. And it's clear that he takes pride in playing his best in front of them. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. 
I was able to listen in on what Frank Vogel told the team earlier. He loves the pressure deep. He told his guys, quote, we've got them on their heels. They're making mistakes. Do not let them get comfortable. We'll see if they can maintain their disruptive ways down the stretch. Back to you. All right, appreciate it, Allie. How about this combination? Strength of a center and guard skills. LeBron James remains the game's most difficult wing to defend inside. To the middle. Here's Anderson. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw drops for Anderson. And Anderson drops them both. Los Angeles has gone one for five from downtown here in the fourth. High arcing shot. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Morant with it, and Howard picks him up defensively. Anderson finds Morant. Rebounded by the Lakers. Westbrook's got rebound number seven tonight. Goes up at the strike. That one's wide left. Memphis trailing here. Outside Morant to the inside. Monk with a steal. All by himself. Here's Westbrook. And finished off by Westbrook. Well, good effort that time by Monk. Ignites the break. Like to see more of that from the former first round pick. Morant against Westbrook. Now here's Moran. He's closely guarded. And Russell Westbrook pulls it down. Westbrook's got eight rebounds in the game. And it's Ja Morant with the foul. That's his first foul of the game. Brooks against James. He blocks it again. And that's nine blocks. And you know he's going to be coming hard for that tenth one, too. They're going to the three-point shot to try to open up their lead, but they're not having quite the same success they were in the first half. Tries again. Jackson, the pass to Morant. Here's Bain. And Russell Westbrook pulls it down. Westbrook's got nine rebounds now. Here's Brooks. And that's out of bounds. Memphis will retain possession. Pass to Moran. Back to Bain. The three. Their execution has not been crisp this half. And it's putting them in a hole. Here's James. That's good. And so Westbrook with the assist. James has got 21 points in the game. James clearly one of the best offensive talents of all time in the NBA. A special score with what seems to be a limitless arsenal. Jackson down low. Started by Howard. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. The officials were right on top of that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouling. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one falls for Jackson. The Lakers making a switch here. Davis has checked in.
And so Jackson nails both of them. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here. Aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. Westbrook, the pass to Howard. James against Brooks. Clock at six. Westbrook outside. Shoots over Moran. The offensive rebound. Second shot opportunity with the clock winding down. And there's the bucket as Howard finishes it off. Howard's got four points now in the quarter. Here's Moran. Tries a 10-footer. The shot off that time. And Los Angeles the other way now. And Davis with the basket. On the assist by Monk. Davis has got 12 points here in the second half. Moran against Westbrook. Shot's good by Moran. In the paint, Moran stays nimble. And that allows him to make any needed adjustment to his shot. And so it's the Lakers with it. 13-point lead. James against Brooks. James passes to Westbrook. To the paint. Here's Howard. Give him that one. Now shooting 5 for 11 from the floor. There are not many better on the offensive blast than Howard. He's a flat-out beast, especially if you don't box him out. Westbrook against Moran. Inside. Here's Jackson. Rebound. The Lakers. A minute 29 left in the fourth. And this one hasn't been in doubt for a bit now. They came out on a mission, and you can bag up this win for the Lakers. And it seemed like steals ended up making the difference in this game. No question. Their ability to force mistakes and turn them into points gave them an upper hand tonight. And they notch another win. Number 34 of the year. And after failing to win any of the first three contests against this team, they needed this for their confidence. A big win against the Grizzlies. And it was a reliably solid performance from one of their key guys. A tremendous game for Anthony Davis. He had a surplus of energy tonight, providing defensive help all over the floor and making it seem like they had six guys out there instead of five. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. And, you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. And Grant, throughout your career, you mostly played in the smaller markets. You think the league is doing enough to help them compete? I think so. I mean, look, Milwaukee just won a championship. An incredible season they had last year. I think they're doing the right thing between revenue sharing, the salary cap, the luxury tax. And remember, the players' union will always favor freedom of movement for its players. First one falls for him. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. 103 left to play in the fourth. Here's Reeves. He takes it in. No good. Here's Terry. Pass to Conchar. No good from outside. On offense, here are the Lakers. 17-point game. to the outside now here's Johnson five on the clock a good chance here and off the front iron and in it goes and the Lakers lead by 19 their home crowd has energized them all game now they're closing it out and I think they can start that celebration right now I mean what a terrific team victory here's Reeves 
So we see the Lakers taking the W here. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Well, LeBron, this is the last game for a little while. So as a team, how do you approach the break? Well, we got a couple of days off, um, you know, but everyone needs to stay in tune. You know, even though we're not going to be on our feet or on the basketball court, everyone needs to continue to just you know, work your mind, and work your body as well, and uh, you know, get ready for practice. Well, try to mix in a little rest before you get back to the grind and enjoy it. Thanks, LeBron. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that'll do it, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching. So long, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.